하나, 둘, 셋! 자! 안녕하세요! 오빠 노래입니다! So on today's episode, we're gonna do a very special episode, which is Korean food. So we always wanted to try Korean food for the longest time, and right now there's a good opportunity for us to try the new Korean food at from Kim Sang Ling, where Seoul Yummy yeah. has their halal version, which is called Seoul Sudap. Uh, just a bit of background: the four of us actually wanted to go to Korea together last year. Supposed to, no supposed to, wanted to. Uh, so instead of going to Korea, we're gonna bring Korea to us. Since we are doing. Korean food, right? We decided, you know, why not we just dress along like those oppa kyung that you see in your K drama. Individually, who do we look like? Leave in the comment down below. But I know for Sharik, I wanted to go for the day song in Big Bang. Day song, <laughs> I don't know. For me, do like oppa lah. <laughs> Like the three of us look like Opa, but this guy look like Opa. This guy look like what Opa? Opa insurance is it? <laughs> So these are the food that we have ordered from Seoul Sedap. Over here we have army stew, the normal version and the one with cheese. Then we have uh, chicken wings. We have the bibimbap over there. And then to the front we have tahu goreng. So it's actually a fusion or their take on the Korean tahu goreng. And then we have chicken luncheon fries, topoki and as well as japchae. So what are we waiting for guys? So what do we start with? Ami stew? Ami stew? NS2 bro. NS2. NS2. Wow. So one of them is the cheese version. Mm. This, is, one, this is the one without cheese. Yeah. So of course we want the cheese also. Uh, but they often take finish all the cheese already. Sorry. <laughs> got some hot dog. We got some enoki mushroom. Oh some you have? I don't know. Tofu. Have. We have some vegetable. vegetable. Korean heat got the sour. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Got the stop stop on that. Uh. some ASMR. Uh. Surprisingly right, the army stew consists, consists. of this luncheon. The menu states that it's chicken lunch meat. Ah, chicken ah. lunch meat. Ah. Ah. Okay, shall we rate this dish? So for myself, I'll give the cheese half a mango, and then the one without the cheese, zero mango. I will give both the cheese and no cheese, zero mango. I will give the cheese half a mango, and the non cheese, zero mango. I think both zero for me. Also. Oh, okay. Okay. One manko for the cheese, zero manko for the normal cheese. Normal cheese. Yeah. Uh, the the army still the the broth is uh, pretty subpar. Like the even the 7-Eleven episode, the uh, army stew is way better. It's supposed to have a bit more of that gochujang taste, that red taste that mm. you always use on. Ah yeah. Which is just nice because we are deviating to Bibimbap! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for my personal opinion of what a good bibimbap is, I like the one in the hot plate. That usually comes with a raw egg or like a those like sous vide sous egg, like those yeah. uh, half cooked one. They mix it up. Then it should have some gochujang by the side. The same red paste that's found in like almost all the dishes. After that, some kimchi. Then uh, of course we have meat, mushroom, vegetables. When I say that the vegetables are, I can't taste the vegetables. It's a good thing. But usually the vegetables are there to give a texture. So you're supposed to mix it, right? Um, but it become a mush. It's neither here nor there. So it's like. Some of us we had bibimbap from like from Seoul Garden and, and, and stuff like that, and this is not the kind of standard you expect of from a bibimbap. So for this bibimbap, I give zero manko. Zero manko for me also. If zero for me. Yeah, great score. <laughs> zero. 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 <laughs> so if you die, just skip the bibimbap. You yep. can. You're better off somewhere else. Uh, yeah, be honest. Whenever if you go Korea, this is a must have. It's your. Oh no, I cannot cannot get that. I cannot grip the topoki. And yeah, yeah, topoki. Wait, he dropped on the floor? No, no I didn't oh, back inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm gonna splash. So those that can eat already. Yes, ah, yes. Are there. Should we? Yes. Okay, mm. okay the topoki shifted. Mm. Yep. Honestly, this is even better than the topoki I had in Korea. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Ah, chincha. You can find this all over uh, in the streets of Korea. So yeah. everywhere, everywhere. Now, especially there's a boom for halal tourism in Seoul, Korea. And like Itaewon, uh, there's a lot of halal Korean food. So you can actually go and try all this local food, which is all halal. For me, I will give this tteokbokki half a bangko. Okay, one. One for me. Half for me. Yeah. So, so we have yeah. a grand score of three. Three bangko. 
All right, uh, on to the, Fry. the spam fries, mm. right? Oh. Spam fries. Yeah, so basically this is obviously the halal version of uh, spam fries. Uh, this is uh, chicken luncheon meat. Right. right. So let's see, just now we had a little bit uh, different adventure with this when we were eating army stew. I expect it to be crunchy. It looks crunchy, right? Yeah, that's right. For those who are asking about what does this texture like, right? It's like a wet cardboard. <laughs> yeah. So texture was. I think I know what the similarity of texture. You know, cook, uh, leko. Oh ah. yes, the soft leko. Yeah, the soft leko. Uh, yes. So for those who have eaten leko before, so it's something similar to it. Yeah, not wet cardboard lah. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no, 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 bro. Let's rate the luncheon meat. I'll give it a half a mango. I'll give it half a mango. I'll give it a uh, half a mango. Half a mango for me as well. So this luncheon meat has a total of two and a half mango. Next one is the chicken. And as you can see, chicken has been a very staple food for Korean. Like we, have, we know like the four four fingers. One is spicy and one is soy garlic. So I think both spicy. No, 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 both. One, one each. One of each. Uh, one of each. Yeah. Okay, can. So I think um, going in this, I have a very, I think we have a very high standard towards uh, Korean chicken. Because Korean food synonymous with chicken. And they have a very big chicken culture over there. Reputation also. Yeah, yes. there's a very big reputation. So, uh, um, now in Singapore, especially in terms of halal scene, there's a lot of big franchises doing uh, like what should I say? Four fingers, wing stock, wing zone, nene chicken, chicken, all this ginger chicken, ginger chicken, ginger chicken, ginger chicken. They all do purely chicken, purely chicken, chicken. just being chicken lah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, I think we move to the second chicken first, like, then we really yeah. all together. There's a part of me that feels that this is like ayam masak merah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But more garing ah, more garing. Yeah. More garing too. Okay, yeah, so for me, the soy garlic fried chicken has half a mangkok, and then the spicy chicken has half a mangkok as well. Soy garlic, half mangkok. The spicy one, one mangkok. For me, the soy chicken will get one mangkok because I really enjoyed the taste. And <laughs> the spicy one, I will average it out with the rest because I didn't really take a proper bite, so I'll give it half a mangkok. Fair enough. Fair enough. Soy will be half a mangkok, and the spicy one will be a one because it's spicy. So half, 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 half. Um, no, half, 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 one, half, half. half is, uh, two and no, no, two and a half. half. <laughs> two and a half. So, so the grand. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oppa, oppa, late. Am I like just look at the screen? I come on the score there. Ah, we got a calculator behind you. Somewhere you are. Okay, uh, pieces, pieces, stones. So this is the fusion tahu goreng. This was just sambal goreng. Yeah. <laughs> sambal tahu goreng lah, stay up. I don't know. One bite, one bite, one bite. Let's go. One bite. The most is demand. I'm not a fan of tahu, and I don't really know what tahu is just supposed to taste like. Sambal tahu. Sambal tahu. Sambal tahu. Sambal tahu. Tofu ah, uh. actually I got a very bad experience with tofu you know, because uh, one day my dad sent me to go and buy tofu uh, for the kuih tiao goreng and also uh, like I didn't know got difference in tofu ah, uh. I thought tofu all look the same so apparently there was this one two dollar tofu the packet and one like four dollar plus I bought the four dollar one ah, uh, myself ah, uh. I didn't realize that's the wrong tofu, that's the silicon tofu or something like that Silicon! 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 Tofu! Why silicon? So flavor profile wise is quite close to like a normal tahu goreng, but I I rather eat a normal tahu goreng. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You do not know what they are getting at lah. Yeah, see, yeah. It makes me confused. Uh. I mean to me this is like if you compare it, it's a normal tahu goreng, right? This is like a bad tahu goreng, like a sapa, ah, yeah, yeah, sapa yeah, yeah. tahu goreng. Because yeah. I think for the sambal, okay, so I think anything with tahu goreng, you need a very strong sauce. Yes, yes. Sauce. Like the spicy <laughs> to combat lah to yeah. the tofu. Then this like in the what is it called again? Jongja. Gochujang. Gochujang. Gochujang uh, sauce, gochujang. it's uh, <laughs> not strong. Um, it's rated zero eh. The tahu goreng, tahu goreng yeah. itself, the fried tofu is nice, but yeah, the sauce all right, yeah. is, I don't know. It's the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> tahu, yeah, right, I tahu. In terms of being cooked properly and everything, I'll give it a half mango because it tastes generally nice for me and I can taste some of the seasoning here and there, but like what everyone said, we don't know what, what the, <laughs> the objective, the objective <laughs> of it. La. I give it zero because like confused. Huh? I give it zero as well, so it's like supposed to be a fusion tahu goreng, but like I don't see anything fusion about it. So basically, this tahu goreng got a score of half. Thanks to Charlie. So we'll be now trying the japchae. Let's dig in. Saya tanak sayo. Who no eating ah? No one sayo. No one sayo. Saya tanak sayo. Anio sayo. Saya tanak sayo. 
Jaffe is like glass noodle. And then you're supposed to have Korean like soy sauce. The thick kind, is it? Ah, the ah, thick one. Yeah, you're supposed to use that. Then you can put like the chili version of that soy sauce also. Then it gives you that color, it gives you that flavor. Then with some sesame oil. So that's where you get the flavor from, but this one is just blend. So zero marker for me. Zero! Zero! A grand score, huh? <laughs> zero! zero. <laughs> Why? I, I don't know, like, glass noodle is glass noodle. <laughs> carrot is just carrot. There's no flavor. <laughs> there's no flavor, there's no seasoning. Okay, if you if you tell me, right, like, from a... I, I don't know Korean food at all, right? And you present it to me. I'm waiting for the depot to pour the sauce, you know, or something. Because <laughs> this is like, you take away the noodle, right? Like, you unwrap, you put inside. Ah, this is what it's saying. Where's the rest? I forget to bring it. <laughs> uh, the sauce forget, bro. Yeah, it's really like, what the tea say, like, it's really pale and... Full of stick, bro. Yeah, full of stick. Covid, bro. <laughs> okay, so like, with all the hype, you know, and craze that this place so set up is new and then all the those current food bloggers are writing about it, it may seem that our reviews are harsh. Fred now is because, like, I mean, apart from me, like, I haven't been to Korea. I won't have worked in Korean uh, restaurant. I mean, Terence did work in a Korean restaurant. Uh, Rush and Sharik went to Korea. So, you know, how about you guys explain yourself? Mm. Explain ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> explain something wrong, like that. <laughs> no, la, but you know, your, your own opinions, la, because you've been there. Yeah, I mean, compared to Korean food, authentic one, of course, can never be as good unless you go there. But my case is Korean, halal Korean food has been around for quite a while. Strong players here like Seoul Garden, Hot Pot, mm. yeah, Four Fingers and, and a lot of like more and more halal places are popping up. And Seoul Sedap is a halal version of Seoul. Yeah. So they already have been in the market for a while. <coughs> How come they can't provide the same kind of popularity to their halal franchise? Like um, what Mr. Kim did for Captain Kim. Ah yes, yes. correct. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so at the end, we don't have much love for Soul, soul, soul Sedap, but we have much love for you. Yes! Yeah, yeah. <laughs>